Hello, everybody. Yeah. Welcome back to Dungeon of the Mad Mage. When last we left our heroes, they had been engaged in a vicious battle with a band of drow from House Avrindar um, that they were victorious in. Ashes is covered in holes, and they're standing in pools of blood, but they're victorious. But victorious. So... All right, well, doesn't matter when we be, fight. Oh, sorry, they want to do something immediately. I'll let them do that before I say anything. Oh, uh, I go ahead and flip on that light again. Uh, but before he does that, I ride up a bolt and put in my crossbow. Okay. And I'm I'm looking at these six windows. Okay. Your light flips on. And you see no, no violet dragon figure waiting in the wings. He had to be interested in the fight going on in here, surely. However, right here on the left side of the room, just above the bed. Wait, there's a bed in here? Yeah, it's a bedchamber. Just above the bed is a floating circular orb that has a little central dot, almost kind of like an eye. Damn it, watching us. And it turns over towards Metashtai as Metashtai lights up the lantern. What color is the pupil? It doesn't really have a pupil. It's just like a little black dot in the center. What color is the black dot? Is it black? Purple? No. It's not oh. purple. That's disappointing. Why, why is it disappointing? I don't know. It just feels like it would be more like thematic and ominous. Gotcha. Un- understood. Well, clocking that thing in there, I just, I'm just like, oh. I go I can lean against this wall and catch my breath. This orb just slowly like turns and scans the room seems to like get you guys look at the bodies on the floor etc um i look at it and i say why don't you come talk with us so hiding all day there's no response hey guys what if that uh, eye is um fucking Arvindar scrying on us that is a possibility so I kill the eye shoot it can you oh mm-hmm. I'm assuming you can I don't magic don't Other- understand magic like otherwise why would it be invisible to hide itself? But why hide if you can't kill it? So that you don't know that you're being watched. Who cares? You don't know who it is. Quick, Ezra, follow the magical thread connecting it to its user. That's not how it works. Use your mind's eye. You don't know how it works. That could be how it works. This is undiscovered tech. You don't know how it works. You don't know. Follow it back through. It's a it's a thread in the weave leading back to its creator. Follow it with your your magic mind eye magic. Follow it with your eye magic. Right. Let let me go ahead and I step up and put my hand up towards the eye. And I feign like I'm trying to As Ezra the, of the I'd thread like to incite him. That's Uh <laughs> Performance wow. 18. Okay. Okay. I have no idea. He seems to I'm be very questing, trying to, to connect with his arcane powers. 
That doesn't seem I, to Actually, work. I root for him. I say, you can do it, Ezra. You're doing great. All right, well, why this is happening? That guy had a nice rapier, and these guys had, like, things that were just shooting poison out on the stuff. I, I'd like to find some of that. Okay. Um, you begin to take a once-over of the bodies. Uh, they are... You, you can find very quickly. They are armed, but it seems to be with typical drow gear. Um, the... Each of the regular degular drow uh, had a small quiver uh, of uh, drow poison crossbolts. Okay? Crossbow bolts. Um, There does seem to be some sort of goop? some sort of there's something in the bottom of several of the quivers that is kind of like fouling the quivers up and and gluing the bolts to the quivers themselves um okay. and then on the elite okay. warriors right uh you find that there are there, there's not so much like a mechanism or anything that like actually shoots out vials, but they do have these straps along their wrists that have uh, very slight extensions that you assume with um, there's a little bar. I didn't say that very well. There's a little rod, right? That when uh, you flex the wrist, it rises up or down, basically. Um, and it seems as if it's just a mechanism to put the vials closer at hand, right? So they don't have to, like, rummage through pockets or anything like that. Um, and then upon mm. the Drow house captain, uh, the rapier, right, in and of itself is gleaming. It does seem to be magical in nature. But not only that, but his uh, studded armor also seems to be Aww, studded um, armor you say magical in some way shape it's uh like it's keith it's covered in little like holes here or there because i mean it, it you did hurt him pretty drastically through it uh but the blood just kind of seems to slick right off of it 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 gives you that vibe that it is not quite mundane does it look like the studs are made of adamantine maybe God, I'd be so invincible. Yeah, all right. Well, I take that shit for sure. All that shit. Okay. So you pocket the or pocket you pull aside the rapier and begin to you know disrobe this house captain. I say disrobe. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Strip. No, not Doff? strip. Doff. Yeah, you you begin to doff his armor basically. Uh, strip him. He's stripping. Um, you, I will, I will say this. You would gather, and and here's just the the mechanism, right? That's just one of their their special abilities. So, the whole like adding poison as a bonus action thing, that's a you would have to train to do that. They they uh, have I that because the there's a special. Is, I lost interest as soon as it wasn't like some Assassin's Creed ass. Oh yeah, it's not thing. it's not some cool Assassin's Creed like shoot it and you know. Hey Ezra, 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 Ezra! You wanna you wanna identify these while Ashes rest because he has one HP. I mean, when we decide to rest, sure. I I, I will say I I used a lot in that fight, so there are concerns with proceeding further through this. Too much more. Where, where are we gonna go? I mean, I can throw up my dome. And we can shut the door. Maybe we should go back to that eerily quiet room. I could do that. That little orb is still here. Still or or not, because we're bloodthirsty killers who will burn the house to the ground. Not this one, though. <laughs> a so house. I, we will find I, a house. I would not have had that conversation with the eyeball there knowing what the eyeball is. I have no idea what the eyeball is. 
I would have started just spamming chill touch and just chopping through it repeatedly to be an annoyance. <laughs> you you do as you throw out the first chill touch. It does pass harmlessly through the orb. Doesn't seem to do anything. Yep. As a reminder, if you guys want to like have conversations so people can't hear, like you just like tap your temple or something, we can infer that you'd like to have a non-verbal communication and I can yeah, get the So you guys going. you guys start doing that and whoever is watching on the other side is is just like jotting notes into like, okay, now they're doing the telepathic conversation thing. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> That's so, fine. Uh, but you they look don't over know what we're saying. Ashes, <laughs> ashes, <laughs> simple. They say, uh, what's up, Ashes? Uh, oh. <laughs> ashes screams into Matt's mind. <laughs> Thank you for that. Valina um, and Zalara both are just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I like when I talk with Ashes, it's actually like a four-person conference <laughs> it's call. It's a big conversation <laughs> every time. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so, I mean, is there any, they have any money, any, have any uh, supplies? Baron, no, absolutely not. Uh, they have, they have no, no coinage on them. They have no, uh, no rations or supplies or anything like that upon them. Um, any, the only um, thing... un any unbroken vials of drow poison? I know uh, they always try and break them. Investigation but... check. Okay. Uh, investigation at normal. Uh, 16. That's pretty good. Uh, 16. So you can find four vials. Thick. Um, and this isn't uh, typical drow poison, actually. Oh, fun. double sick. Maybe. Um, I, don't, I don't Good or bad. Well, it's not necessarily good or bad. It's just... Just, uh... Is what it is. So this is a special... Poison. Um... This is a spider venom poison. Venom. Oh, that's what I've got in my, um... Thing. Oh, well, you... Oh, in your... Dag. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, the 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 damage amount is the same, but this one also is. It's specifically venom from spiders intended to stabilize and paralyze the victims. You said I got how many? Four of those. Four of them. Yeah. Sick. So is that poison basically the same thing as using non-lethal damage, but hits really hard? Yeah, yeah, kinda. <laughs> I mean, the the side effect being is is it only works as non-lethal damage if it's the poison that takes you to zero, right? Like if you get hit oh, with the crossbow so like bolt, if you take twenty and then five, and the twenty kills you, you're yeah, dead. you're fucking dead. You just took like a crossbow bolt to the throat, you know? It's the poison really that bizarre. has to. Yeah, a absolutely. Like, that's so specific. <laughs> it, it is. It is. Uh, it, it's a strange thing but it is what it is all right uh okay so uh f before i forget about this everyone can add 2000 experience to their character sheets for surviving the house of Rindar hunting party you said 2000 damn that puts uh matt and ashes at 91k Sweet, sweet 91. 91 to 30. Indeed. Okay, um, so do we have a means to make Ashes not want to rest longly? Or shortly? Um, or well, shortly. I mean, I can, like, I can I hit can him go. with heals, but... Full disclosure, I'm gonna be out of fucking key points for the next fight. So I mean, we have one more short rest of the day. I can make well, it. Look, no. <laughs> no, get up. I don't think you can. I don't think you can make it, my dude. Uh, all right, I take Your one. cannot step make it. And um, I make a dexterity saving throw. He's he's back I down. I failed to take that step. I stumble. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stumble I over, takes I catch, a knee 
and dashing so, to hey, catch them is in. The, the, is this mirror, is this a Halister gate? Or is this just like a mirror? Uh, it, it, it seems like a Halister gate. Yeah, it looks what? just like a Halister gate that you've seen. And can you describe the keystone that's on every single uh, Halister the gate? The keystone on this one uh, has a lit torch. That's the oh. only symbolism on this gate. Clutching um, a, uh, a lit torch. Uh, a lit torch. Uh, a lit talking. torch, okay. Okay. Lit torch gate. I don't recall any other lit torch gates. There aren't. I mean, it's still active, is it not? It's not. No, it, it fades okay. quickly. Okay, so... Um, shall we go back to oddly silent room and this is what we're going to do? Seems like a good enough right. plan to me every step. Because okay. we have to do some sort of rest, right? I, I walk up which one. and I slap bones and I use Flurry of Blows to heal ashes. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. And I kick bones in the shin and I use Flurry of Blows to heal ashes. It still hurts. Ow! <laughs> it still hurts. That's a, I head, I headbutt bones and then I flare blows ashes. How many Skip key points it. do you have? So One, dumb. 11. Um, I start with 11. I used two in that fight. Gotcha. I didn't really get a chance to use more. I spent the entire fucking time <laughs> climbing through windows. Uh, so almost, that windows? It's almost like they're... Uh, identifying threats and trying to come up with ways to isolate those threats. Bones, I need yeah. you to amplify Tamakiri to punch through magical walls. That um, actually yielded me up. I'd like to pierce high. through walls. Alright, Ash is so good to go, y'all. He said he he said that healed him up real good. He's, he's ready I, to fuck. If I hybrid transformation, I immediately start making wisdom saves. Oh, but... well, you know. Man, I got six more key points, like, okay. we're gonna go rest anyway. I mean, that's true. I mean, we ain't gotta rest. We, we, can, explore, we can explore the rest no, of the floor, that, right? We don't have to rest. I don't want to be the reason we have to rest. I mean, if you... Rest. Okay, so you guys, you guys come out to this little antechamber while this is happening, and so what's the decision? Are you gonna go back downstairs and rest, or are you going to, to heal have... up a little bit more and progress further? If this is four. like the first floor, there's not that many rooms left. I've got four staff of healing charges I can use on you too. Skabop, 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 skabop. I don't care. Whatever y'all want to do, I'm fine with. Whatever <laughs> whatever you want. Okay, does the skabopping has happened? You uh, have 29 more HP. Jesus. 29 more? Yeah. Okay. Plus 29. And that leaves the Staff of Healing at one charge? Okay. That, that one charge is never going to get... S staff is tapped for now. Yep, I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm waiting for the day when you all have no potions, you have no more healing hands... All you have is that one one staff charge. I believe we're there, Jeremy. We'll no, I no. believe it's the current situation. No, no, I'd no. Die, yeah, but it, but I'd rather die than lose the staff. I, of I mean, I mean, in a dire moment, not just like a oh, after we won. I mean, like the fight is still happening, and it's like, do I use the last charge of the staff? You know. No, I think we have to, I'd rather just die. What do you do with one charge though. You pick somebody I up. Do a single cure wounds. Yeah, I think I'd rather just What die. if you're at two failed saves? I think I'd rather... Be I'm wearing the though. pre hat. Okay, well, what if Ezra's at two failed saves? Well, well then I use the charge, and then it inevitably breaks, and then we all feel bad about the situation. Don't, Thanks, Jeremy. This is a fun hypothetical. Don't you have to That's roll, like, a one on a d20? He's alive. Like, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Okay, so... Uh, Matashai beats the shit out of Bones in order to heal Ashes up. <laughs> just fucking, just what, fucking what, him up. What is the plan now? Do you guys continue exploring? Um, 
I leave that to the group. I am more than capable of continuing. I also am capable of continuing. I am capable, I, but in uh, fact, losing resources fast. But you don't get a lot of resources back on a short rest. You get them back I on a long no rest. I get no resources back on a short rest. Okay, then... Yeah, I don't think the conversation is for a long rest. I think the conversation is for a potential short rest, right? Not conversation, but... <laughs> oh, gotcha. I just understood. I'm a short rest now. I am sufficiently healed up thanks to the... I don't even want to go start. look at your page, Ezra, and be like, this motherfucker's got 27 more spells, you know? Right? <laughs> I have one-fifth, two-three, two-two, and all of my first level spells, but those are um, quite plus, a number. Plus special items. Yeah, I believe you also have uh, two chaos bolts. Just going to say that. I do. I do have two chaos bolts and a full wand of magic missiles. But my oh, resources Some, some Haas Narketa charges. Uh, those don't really have combat effectiveness. Fair enough. Based on what I have... Uh, Acquired. Yep. Stored. Uh, what I've been targeted I by. I give uh, um, Ezra the spent wand of uh, fireball. I say, here you go. I don't want this anymore. Thank wow. You. Oh, actually... Unless they come back, then I'm interested again. Fuck off. Uh, no. Because this was a specific <laughs> wand of fireball. This, yeah. this wand does not recharge. This wand had a limited number... Uh, so yeah, it's just inert at this point. Now, now I, I can just give you the stick. Here you go. <laughs> it's just an inert burst stick. Right. Here really is a stick. A stick. Hey, I'm a cat. Here's a stick. Bro, why uh, don't you use? Hold on. Why don't you hold on to that? Maybe you can use that in some sort of crafting recipe. Nah, it's inert. It's just a stick. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's really uh, arcanely attuned to how the magics work. Yeah, it seems like it's just a stick to me. He's he's super attuned. Ezra takes it. His stick. Okay. Ezra might find value. Okay. All right, to the splorin. To the splorin. All right. Uh, Wait, there this, is. This is the room. There is a room. How do I get in this? Right next to where you guys were. Uh, let me double check. I I do not have all my my master list open. We were fighting. Okay, so this room. Uh, the door frame of this room has a fatty, fatty platinum coin wedged into it. Uh, that's mine. Put it in my bag. <laughs> Is no one going to argue? <laughs> What? Yeah, no, I was, I was just trying to articulate how aggressive I wanted to be on it. Why do you get all the platinum? Because I articulated it first. Oh, is this just a first? Is, th is that how this works? No, I okay, look, just called you know what? This is why we didn't argue about it, Jeremy. You piece <laughs> I will of allow shit. You to... I was okay, trying to look... stop you. The second you finish that, I tried to stop you. I'll let you I have knew. it. I fucking I'll knew. Let... No, I'll let you have it, but if you put it back in the door for him, I'm taking it before I walk off. Okay, I want it. Okay, take it then. I've I've deducted off my. It's mine now. Yep. Okay. Yep. Why, why are you both being so petty? I open the fucking door. <laughs> open. All right. I showed you my stick. Please respond. You open the door, and beyond you find a very strange chamber to the castle that you have experienced so far. Okay. Um, the entirety of this chamber is made from a slick, shiny metal. Uh, bones to your eyes. It looks like a, a, a steel alloy of some sort. Right? Floor, ceiling, wall, everything is just sure. it's shiny and chrome, basically. Mm. Um <laughs> well, what's shiny and chrome you say. And bolted mm. to the middle of the room, to the floor in the middle of the room, is a strange looking steel machine. 
that resembles a pedestal with a slanted top, kind of like a, a lectern, right? And protruding from it are several brass levers arranged side by side with the outer levels levers in an upward position and the middle lever in a downward position. And then to the right of the letters are five brass buttons situated at the points of a gold pentagram engraved into this steel machine. Um, and then there's a little inscription next to each lever and each button. Okay, um, well, so before I enter the room, I'd like to just look around. I, I'll check for traps. Is there any, like, trip wires or anything about to trying to blow up or are there wands like facing out of the wall like machine guns or roll me a <laughs> perception check that's my bag of holding this is my person um perception uh 20. the walls floor and ceiling are smooth there's nothing else in the chamber except for the the console in the middle. You don't see any potential pressure plates or trip wires. If there is anything here, it doesn't seem physical to you, not unless the console right, well, itself is trapped. I as the immortal one will do my duty and walk into the room. It's See if it blows up. Okay. There's nothing. All right nothing, then. All right. Seems pretty seems safe. To happen. Seems safe. Seems safe, guys. And I tentatively step in, fully expecting it to pop for someone not wearing the helmet. Oh, that's possible. Didn't think about that one. Nothing seems to happen. Okay. Where? Right, so, you, so you said there's a bunch of levers in here? There are three oh, levers just... on the console. Okay. Side by side, right? Yep. The first one is in the up position. The second one is in the down position. And the third one is in the up position. And all of the levers and the five buttons each have a tiny inscription next to them. Okay, what's the inscription say? Uh, the so it's ins- up, down, then up, right? Yeah. The inscription okay. on the leftmost lever reads courtyard. Okay. The inscription on the middle lever reads lights. The inscription on the rightmost lever reads heat. The inscription on first button reads music, the second button reads roof, the third button reads fog, the fourth button reads lockdown, and the fifth button reads do not press. <laughs> we get a copy pasta? What? Uh, what? Uh, music, uh, music, music right roof, in. what? It says don't press, huh? It reads what? music, roof, fog, lockdown, do not press. Don't press. What language is this in? It's all in common. Are you going to give us a button that says do not press? With that. That's fucked up. I mean, bones. I'm going to have to take a walk away from this one because your boy wants to press it. We know. I take a it's walk just away. It's just in notepad, but this is what Jeremy said. Yep. Our... Are the lights on? Is it warm? Uh, yes. It, it, it's, it is. Warm in the castle. It's on. The courtyard is on. The lights are off. The lights are off? It's dark in here? There aren't any lights aside from your own. Oh, well, that makes sense. Okay. Well, let's turn on lights. Yeah, let's give it a shot. I flipped, I flipped the light switch. Whoop, push the middle I mean, switch I mean, upward? Yeah. 
and then there is the sudden flickering and then there's just small orbs of light throughout the chamber and back out in the hall where you were. Cool. That's nice. Okay. So, here's um, my question. Courtyard, we know there's a statue that mechanically moves. We're here at a machine that mentions the courtyard. We don't know that it mechanically moves. Uh, we did determine that it mechanically moves. We determined that it can move. I guess we should walk the fuck away then. <laughs> God damn. Fassy frass. Okay. Um. You want me to go look out the window and see if it moves? I, I kind of want to hit the lockdown button and trap the uh, dragon in here with us. Yeah, yeah, Why is in here? Last I it saw, the dragon was outside. That's true. Last I heard. Sorry, I didn't see it. Last I felt. When I was looking death right in its face. And I said, not today. Yeah. It does like fun. Maybe if we hit music, it'll want to dance. I hit the music button. Yeah, and the music turned off. Oh, oh shit. So How long were you sitting on this one, Jeremy? For a while. For as okay. long as he has needed to. It's kind of okay. pop, yo. Okay, I hit music again. Oh, it's only two tracks, huh? Mm. Damn. Wow, that sucks. Otto's got to increase his playlist. I say that out loud. Well, technically, there's no track, which is this one, and then the actual music. Oh, so there's no music, and then... Okay. It's either yeah. the one track is this... on, or the one track is off. A base, yeah, pretty much. Okay, then I turn the music back on and say, Wow, really? This is what he thinks is good music? Just kind of casually oh, glance you. around. You just insulted someone and there is no response. Yeah. All right. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Just kicked Arthur in the snoot. Damn, oh. right, his little nose. Jesus. There right, right, is a little puppy. All right, do, 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 do fog. All right, hit fog. Um... Oh, no, please. <laughs> what do you mean, no, please? It's going to fog the place up. No, we need to turn the fog off. Uh, okay. It does... Sure. Ooh, ooh, sorry. It takes um, 12 years was, to dissipate. I was incorrect. Uh, nothing, nothing seems to happen in the room, but you hear this... You hear this this kind of like hissing sound and then outside in the hallway becomes just densely uh packed with fog like all the way up not like, like all like the way up like no no like all right, no no turn floor, that one off. Turn that floor off. to ceiling just becomes thickly packed with fog yeah we don't want that i'm exploring harder i mean you know Okay, so you press the fog button again. I press it. It gets thicker. <laughs> yeah, oh. you're just like no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no that you you <laughs> press the button and there's this kind of like there's this pause and then there's this kind of like almost vacuum cleanery sound, right? And you look oh. outside and, and a few seconds later, uh, the fog is dissipating, being oh, sucked neat. away. I punch the roof button. Um, okay. Uh, you all look at each other, uh, after he punches the roof button, and there's a brief second. Nothing happens. Guess it doesn't. 
cash. And then you are all... (laughs) uh, No longer in that room. And you find yourselves on top of a castle staring up into blackness. Um, And I need... Just teleport us to the... To roll... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. No! Teleportation damage! That would have killed That could have killed me. <laughs> Not again! I don't know what that... If that's what this is. I take 16 teleportation damage. Is that what we're doing? Be a, could just be a situation. Or 16 teleportation? Looks like it's a situation. I'm gonna myself back that 16. Uh, you are all teleported to the roof after pressing the roof button. As you pop into existence on the roof and the uh, violet light flickering out from Matashtai's lantern cascades around you, you can see um, there is a central portion uh open air that leads down into the courtyard uh of the of the castle castle. and as it's this hard to show so actually i'm gonna i'm gonna do this real quick let me fuck with some lighting this i actually don't like that lighting being there so that way you guys can kind of see that um you hear the flapping of wings and rising up out of that you can just barely see on the edge a figure um that seems slightly startled by your presence and then just speaks out in this kind of gruff voice and goes, Who the fuck just presses that button? And I need everyone to select their tokens and roll for initiative. <laughs> Could I potentially go ahead and fire this Nope, bolt? absolutely okay. not. You Basically, everyone is caught by surprise on this because you guys just teleport popped right next to this skin dragon. <laughs> How'd you be bigger than that? Press this button. Oh, okay. Okay. Not gonna lie, I thought it like closed the roof or something. Like we're gonna. I don't know. Astrodome style. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's totally what I was expecting. Who presses the buttons? Adventurers, of course. Adventurers. All right. Um. Now, I guess technically, uh, technically, this does not have to be a combat. However, uh, this thing has attacked you all previously. And after making that statement, you see it begin to inhale deep in its dragony lungs. Ashes, okay. you're up first. What would you like to do? Uh, technically, Bones rolled higher. Oh, did he? Yeah. It's oh, not I didn't. 
Oh, you rolled 20. Oh, no, I rolled a, a point one. He rolled a point two. Got it. All right. Yep, I am first. All right. I, uh, I, screw it. I'm, just, I'm crossbow. Here we go. Uh, yeah, he is, he is about 15 so feet long. up in the air. That's, yeah. That, uh, I, I, I got the range. Just, Does just letting people know. 22 hits. Uh, as you go to fire at him, you see his violet form kind of shimmers and there is some sort of after image about the yeah. creature. I need you to make this at disadvantage. Shit, shit, shit. As expected. 13 just sails past, well not just, no. but sails <laughs> past the creature into the open air. Um, and it looks at you and says, "That's not nice." I, I saw you inhaling. I, you're still holding it. <laughs> Are you, anything else for your turn? No. Bones, you're up. Oh, well, actually, yeah. I want like if there's a breath attack coming, I'm gonna move uh, my full distance away. Okay. So, <laughs> and you start booking it. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I can see you holding it. Out here, I will. I will throw this out as well. Out here on the roof, it is immediately apparent how significantly colder it is outside of the castle compared to inside the castle. We didn't even press the heat button. Well, the the heat lever was already turned on. Oh. Uh. Or it was already yeah. in the upwards position, if that is on. Okay. Bones, you're okay. up. Okay. You said he's in the air, right? Uh, he has 15 in feet in the air. Yep. And he's just over the edge of the courtyard. So the courtyard is actually like a 40 foot. No, it's. Well, yeah, it's about like a 40 or 50 foot drop down to the bottom of the courtyard. I mean, he hasn't done anything really bad to us yet. Are we really committed to killing him? He just inhaled a breath. Yeah, but every time he's breathing, he's just made us, like, kind of happy. Um, I trying to have an in-game conversation or a out-of-game conversation? Um, in-game. Okay, um... You just hear kind of a stern voice in your mind. I'm not breaking another oath. I don't know what that means. We told the giants we'd handle it. Okay. All right, then. And, and did, didn't we tell the homunculus that um, we would do more than that? Yeah, but he's like a homunculus. What? This wow. wow! Like, I don't understand why you it guys. It may not be way. the right thing to do, but at this point, Matt feels like he's given his word to do something. Yeah, well, Yay! Uh, careful aim, bone dag. What careful aim, bone dag. Do... So the careful 14. aim takes it to normal, which is a fourteen. The fourteen. Fails by. All right then. Well, uh, I can't move because I careful aimed. Turn over. Turn over. Attach die. It means I can never get sneak attack on this thing. Uh, that's not true. If it's if it's in melee with something, you can still get sneak attack. You just can't get sneak attack off of a ranged advantage. Okay. I need some clarification on grappling. Okay. Ask your questions. It, I shall try to provide answers. It's athletics to initiate the grapple, right? Yes. Okay. It is always Walward. athletics to try to grab someone, but someone can try to free themselves by either using athletics or acrobatics. Can you use more than one attack to grapple? Yeah. Okay. You can use a grapple special attack in the place of any attack. 
So you can try to grab someone, fail, try to grab someone, fail, try to grab someone, fail, try to grab someone, fail. It just depends on the specifics of what your attack act, your at, your attacks are allowed to be. Like I don't know if your flurry of blows have to be specific types of attacks or if they're just like make an attack. Because if it's just make an attack, yeah, you can absolutely try to grab somebody. I think flurry of blows has to be unarmed attacks. So but, then, that, then that would yeah. be specifically, yeah, you wouldn't be able to do yeah. that. Um, and then once we, once if I have something grappled. The contested checks, I still roll athletics, but they can roll acrobatics or athletics. Yeah, it remains athletics. So so grappling is really, in theory, is supposed to be a strong man's game, unless you have alternative methods around it. Let's... Okay. Um, I run at it. Pulling yeah. out the rope of climbing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and as I jump at it, I'm going to tell it to loop around the dragon's neck. Wow. Oh, you're gonna hang going to hang it? Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to get on it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And I'm going, like, I don't know, like, grapple attack. Right, but I'm trying to use the rope to do so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Swallow drug. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, order of operations. You have to use for the for the rope of climbing, you have to use an action to animate it. Oh, uh, okay. Which is fine. You have you have an action. You're good there. And then as a bonus action, you can command it to move somewhere, right? Um and try to do to like attach itself or or something like that. Um but it only does 10 feet per turn. So the or the so here's my order of operations question. The scenario is is you you are running forward, you animate it with an action, and then you're jumping, and as you're getting to kind of like this peak underneath the dragon, you're trying to bonus action like lasso around its neck, which I think is awesome. Um and I think is possible with the 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 10 feet so i'm gonna throw this down to a timing situation and i don't think this really counts as a grapple i think this is outside of kind of like the realm of what a grapple is um because of the special object interaction so what i'm gonna say is is like i said this is gonna come down to a timing you hitting the right moment to activate the rope and have the rope loop around the dragon's neck Do you please? No, I'm oh, I'm thinking. thinking. I'm I'm trying to consider exactly what I want to do here. Um, <laughs> I know what my instinct is. My instinct is to is to make this be like an instinct check, and for me that tends to be like a insight check. But you have advantage on insight checks, so I'm like, <laughs> fuck you, no. Um, uh, <sighs> and by check. But that's kind of like, that's the vibe I would go. So I, I'd say, right, like, roll me an insight check. And it's basically, as you do this, you feel that connection in your mind. And you feel Valena's presence. And right at the apex apex of your, your jump, she just shouts, now, roll your insight check. Uh, DC okay. is going to be 18. Yeah, I'd blast it. Okay, yeah. um, you you run, leap over the... You actually, like, use the little crenellations as a step to jump and get an extra, you know, few feet of distance. Leap up 
And you don't quite, like, you don't land on the dragon, the, the fairy dragon. It's 15 feet kind of, like, up in the air. But your jump carries you just underneath it, which allows the rope enough distance to loop up and over. And then basically, right as you're about to, like, fall off, it just ties itself on its own loop. And now you're dangling from the end of this dragon or from the neck of this dragon by a rope. And that has used oh, your that has used your action and your bonus action. Um. Okay. So, next question: Can I climb the rope? Um. How much movement would you have? You moved five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Um. And technically, you would be thirty-five because you'd be just underneath it. Yeah, you can climb the rope. I would like to climb the rope and try to get to this thing's back if I can. Okay, so you ha what's your normal move speed? 50. 50? So you still have another 15 feet of move speed. You don't have an inherent climb speed, and even if you did, I don't think climbing a rope is the same thing as like climbing a wall or something like that. So it's still going to be double movement to get up the rope. So you can't get quite to its back, but you can climb up the rope to basically its neck where it's attached. So you're still, okay. but but now you have, you're attached to the dragon via the rope. And you could also like throw an arm around its neck to try to hold yeah, on. Yeah, just well, so I can like secure thing. myself more. Yeah, and yeah you're, like you're more secure around. rather than just dangling from a rope. Okay, cool. Um, with my bonus action you already used your bonus action to active the the oh right to yeah. activate the thing yeah yeah, yeah yeah you're right never mind never mind moving on i okay. am done i am okay. hugging He's a scared. fairy dragon matt matt is hugging a fucking <laughs> hugging a fucking um, fairy dragon considering matt's uh accent this is about to be the most yeehaw thing he's done yet absolutely <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's a thing. You about to Ezra, go for you're up. Yep. <laughs> gonna take for what happens when it leaves the castle? <laughs> <and> <laughs> you, become, <laughs> you become big. Oh my goodness. That's a good question. He takes me outside the area of the castle, I become big, but this is, is his me, normal size. <laughs> Well, oh, this, is Lord. What we're here for. <laughs> this is what's been harrying us since we've been here, so might as well go big, eh? Hey. Uh, Ezra is going to channel his storm energies and uh, do control winds with downdraft. Okay. A hundred foot cube of wind blowing down. Well, here's the thing. Uh, just, just for clarification. Is that the courtyard on the first floor that we see? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Since he is a flying creature. Uh, first call out, ranged attacks are at disadvantage while within the downdraft. Okay. Second call of order, any creature fly that flies into the space or starts their turn flying in this space has to make a strength saving throw. On a failure, they fall prone. For clarity, oh. your downdraft a... is like <laughs> it's it's like it's a hundred it's like the cube. whole fucking yeah. it's like oh, most yeah. of the roof. We're yeah. all yeah. like, oh god, what the fuck? Okay, gotcha. It's a level spell. Gotcha. Wow, I'm really glad I climbed onto it instead of dangling. <laughs> well, I, honestly, at this yeah. point. Like, you going on it, it's like, well, he's going to disappear. I got to fucking... Because a sustained this. blast of strong wind to blow downward from the top of the cube. Ranged attacks are made a disadvantage. Creature must make a strength saving throw if it flies into the group for the first time on its turn or starts its turn there. On a failed save, the creature is knocked prone. So there is a there is the possibility that this creature is just going to go... <laughs> yes. What was it? Three floors? Oh, oh, we oh, really don't know how tall it is. Huh? Uh, it's a, it's see. about a it's about a forty or fifty foot drop. 
<laughs> uh, it probably it, it, it would be it's it would fine. be like a fifty foot drop because he's like fifteen feet up in the air above the floor of the the wow. roof. So it's fifty feet, no, including his flying height. Yeah, yeah, about including. So that's the forty to fifty, right? Gotcha. So each each uh, the floors the ceilings are about ten feet high on each of the. Gotcha. The floors, generally speaking, but there's a little bit of like leeway with like the thickness of the floors themselves and stuff like that. So, Jay, he's a monk. He's All right, got He'll be cool. It is super interesting. Um, how to spice things up? Grappled so. myself to this thing. You're like, no, down. Boom. Right. He's save. Don't worry about. It. He's a dragon. His strength um, is probably minimum five. Yeah, but it's a fairy dragon. I don't know. Cool. I feel like he's got weaker wings. Yeah, the little baby fairy wings. Little, little, little fairy wings. All right. That's your go, Ezra. Oh boy. Yup. At the end of your turn. Cool. It's going to use one of its legendary actions. I wondered. And it begins to beat its butterfly wings. Uh, and Matashtai, there was already a great surge of air around you from oh the downdraft that, <laughs> that Ezra is created. But now there's <laughs> this, this kind of like counter push coming from this beating of wings. I need you to make a DC 15 dexterity saving throw. Okay. Do not fall. Or do. I don't do think it would. Yeah. Do. Oh. On. Oh. And, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Plus nine. It's so unlikely. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. so unlikely. That was pretty unlucky. Uh, you are buffeted by... Well, here's the thing, though. You have a rope attached to the thing's neck. Make him have to climb back up again. Give him advantage. No, I think advantage is too strong in this particular situation. Okay. Uh, roll me oh, a... This is going to be kind of a... This is kind of like an advantage, but it's more of an advantage crapshoot. Uh, roll me a DC 12 athletics check to hold on to the rope. I fall. No, it's just meant to be. It's just meant to be. Okay, so you, you are buffeted off of the dragon by the beating of its wings, and then you're you're momentarily dangling, trying to hold on to the, the rope of climbing before the winds are just too much and you are actually shoved off of the dragon um you take ten bludgeoning damage from the beating of the wings itself they actually like hit you um as it kind of like pushes you around uh hey bro, what's the wings and then you are knocked prone i.e knocked off the dragon and you fall 50 feet mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me this one from a yeehaw to a yeet-haw. <laughs> yeet <-ha. laughs> Um, five times my monk level, so I can reduce damage up to 55 feet. Yeah, you're, you can't take damage from this then. <laughs> So, 55 damage, not 55. Yeah, and just well, like so, so that's the thing, though. But it would be it would be five d six because it's it's a d six per ten feet. So he can't take damage from this. Like he just like he just sliding down a wall. Oof, 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 I guess thrown down just three point stance. You land, <laughs> you land in a pile of flowers. Um, and as you do, there's this kind of like, there's this just moment where right next to you one of the flowers gets kind of like straightened back up and you <laughs> you see the silhouette of an unseen servant next to you just can like I, can bending, I roll to dodge flowers <laughs> bending over hell no no you you, you done failed <laughs> oh, on, no. on your dodging get, get out of here um okay uh as that happens the dragon also 
moves. Over here. Damn. Um, out of the courtyard area. Uh, and then it is actually its turn. So on its turn, it is hit by the downdraft. It is flying. Um, so it has to make a strength saving throw. What's your DC? 16. Okay. It succeeds. Uh, oh. Remains aloft in the air. Um, and moves over here. Um, and as it does, oh, well, I guess, I guess it wouldn't matter anyways. Matashta is like 40 or 50 feet down. Um, like pretty far down, yeah. It vanishes, like you can no longer see it. But there is this uh, brief moment where you hear an intake of air and then suddenly it is visible again and a plume of gases spews forth from its maw towards... Both Ezra and Bones, I need DC 15 wisdom saving throws from the two of you. Yeah. I did it. Nice. Nice. All I was right. not expecting a save there. You, <laughs> you both Minus kind one. of like, you see this coming and you're able to hold your breath. Your eyes kind of sting and water from the noxious fumes themselves. And you get kind of a little like a little giggle a snort in reaction right but you're able to <laughs> kind of like prevent yourselves from taking too much of it in and and ezra you've had this happen to you before already you you avoid that kind of foggy mind situation um and the dragon looks at both of you intently afterwards right and and then just kind of very dourly is just like hmm. well y'all aren't any fun and then it vanishes. Okay. He's gone forever. And I think actually that's probably a decent time to go ahead and end tonight's session. Uh, we're at the top of this round. The... Uh, Dragon has buffeted Matashtai off of it. Uh, it, it. It breathed at Ezra and Bones, and then it went invisible, taking Matashtai's rope of climbing with it. Yes. Yeah. Follow up question. Mm hmm. Uh, it has a hundred foot rope dangling from it. That's currently invisible. But currently should invisible. the lantern reveal the rope, I can follow the rope to where it is, right? Potentially? If you weren't uh, three floors down? Um, I can make that <laughs> in literally <laughs> he can, one He run. can cover that distance <laughs> real fucking quick. Really? <laughs> I mean, he he has boots of climbing, so he can just run up the walls. I, also, I don't even need those. I'm a monk. I just run oh, up walls. Yeah, that's true. I forget about that. Oh, is there a solid wall all the way up? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. There's, there's. I mean, there's like, there's like solid. windows. But there's like, windows. Yeah, there's the crystal windows. barred windows here or there, but he can just dodge those. There's a flat surface all the way to back to the surface. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And like, I could use my bonus action to step of the wind to 100 feet. Yeah. Uh, okay. He, he definitely cleared the distance. This, uh, this, Dis this battle ain't over yet. Distance isn't a problem. No, I can clear the distance. <laughs> you find my way. Okay. That is going to be it for this session of a dungeon of the mad mage. We battled some drow uh pressed some random buttons and found ourselves facing off against a fairy dragon uh so hope you all enjoyed we'll see you not next week actually because we will be off for the thanksgiving holiday but we will be back yep. i believe the following week for more dungeon of the mad mage bye everybody bye, guys. bye. hey everybody thanks for watching 
If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.